today we back here again and uh, we decided to talk about the coronavirus since uh, we've been here in China since everything started. Our flights going back to the Philippines was even cancelled and we don't have any other choice but to still stay here in China. And throughout this time we've learned a lot of things and we've got some kind of experience that we want to share with you. So. Um, this, this video is going to be bilingual, English and... Tagalog. Okay, Tagalog, not Ilongo. Not Ilongo? No. Oh, okay, good. So it's English and Tagalog, and I'll be doing the English part, right? So without wasting time, let's straight away go to the first point. The first thing that you should do is don't panic. There shouldn't be any kind of panic buying where people are just rushing to get stuff and everything because everybody is scared and this is what is going to happen. This can create a lot of problems and we are talking out of experience so don't panic. Number two, please follow control measures of the government. Here in China the, uh, the government came out with a lot of laws and rules to control the public during this time and we think it's very important, right? So bear in mind that whatever the government comes to say, just try to follow it. It's for the good of the citizen, okay? And um, the third one is do not go to public places. Cancel all public activities and wherever you see that a lot of people have gathered or whatever just don't go there everybody should stay at home it's the best choice right and uh here in china where we live right i think it was throughout the country um, if you or your household coffee i'm talking sorry daddy okay so if any of you or your household needs to go out to buy something, it should be only one person per household. This is what the government came out with and this actually is for the good of your family and yourself. Right? So here we are three people. If anybody has to go out, it has to be either me or money. The two of us cannot go out at the same time. And also, the government came out that um, everybody, each household, one person can go out per every two days. So every two days. We cannot go out today and go out tomorrow. If we go out today, we will have to go out the day after tomorrow. So that's one of the measures and I think it's very important. Okay, and um, the next thing that uh, became like a law or something like that, if you don't even have it, they wouldn't allow you to go out, is the wearing of surgical mask or the N95, as they call it, some some type is not N95 or so. It is very important. It is for you to protect yourself and others. Well, I've heard that a lot of countries, some people are saying it's not important, but trust me, somebody can sneeze, somebody can cough or whatever. So if somebody is sneezing or coughing, it can also prevent it from traveling that far and reaching the next person, right? And, um, the, the next thing that I want to talk about is uh, proper hygiene and washing of hands. Once you return from outside, whether it be in the supermarket or going anywhere that you have to go, the first thing is to go to the bathroom and wash your hands with soap. That is very important. Even when you are in the house, constantly wash your hands. And um, if any of you or your family members is experiencing some kind of fever, high body temperature, dry cough, and any kind of symptoms that you think maybe is due to the coronavirus, the first thing that you have to do is the person experiencing these kind of symptoms must isolate him or herself. Try to isolate yourself, call the doctor or call the people responsible and just follow whatever they tell you right and the last thing that I want to say is stay indoors that is the best way try to stay indoors most of the time 
avoid visits. Mm -hmm. No family member should come visit you. You shouldn't visit friends. Nobody. You never know who has it because the symptoms takes a little bit. I think two weeks for it to start showing. So that's what I have for you. Wag po tayong magpanik. Lalo na po pag nalaman natin si, sa isang lugar nagpapanik buying sila or uh, wala nang laman sa isang grocery stores. Wag po tayong pumunta doon kasi alam natin na maraming tao po na nandun. At di natin alam, malay po natin, meron isa doon na infected. So madali po tayong mahawaan pag maraming tao. Iwasan po natin yung magpanik buying. Hintayin po natin na kumalma. Kung gusto po natin makatulong sa ating bansa, isa pong paraan ang huwag lumabag kung ano man pong patakaran meron ang ating bansa. Pag sinabi po nila na ganito, huwag po tayo, uh, nakalockdown po ang itong area, ganito, huwag po tayo lumabas na. Sundin po natin kung ano mang patakaran meron ang ating bansa para po makatulong tayo at para po huwag na pong lumala. Iwasan po natin na pumunta sa publikong lugar. Para po sa paraan na yan, hindi po tayo mahawaan. Madali po tayo mahawaan pag maraming tao kasi alam, di po natin alam kung sinong tao ang, ang infected doon. So, para para po makaiwas sa sa virus, wag na po, wag na po tayong pumunta sa anumang publikong lugar. Pag mayroon po kayong anim na miyembro sa inyong pamilya, isa lang po ang dapat lumabas kung kailangan para po bumili ng pangangailangan ninyong lahat para sa ganun po maiwasan na po ang pag uh, nang mahawaan kayong lahat. So isang miyembro lang po ang dapat lumabas. Pag lumabas po kayo, kailangan po talagang gumamit ng mask at saka para na din po maiwasan. Hindi niyo po alam kung sino mang kung sino po ang tao na infected sa sa lugar na pupuntahan niyo. So para po maiwasan na po, kailangan po talagang gumamit kayo ng mask. Pag kayo po ay lumabas at dumating sa inyong bahay, kailangan po maghugas kayo ng kamay. Sa amin po dito, sa amin sa aming bahay, uh, rules po namin pag ang isang tao lumabas sa isa sa amin ay lumabas, pagdating po kailangan pumunta talaga siya sa bathroom para maligo at saka hubarin lahat ng damit ng suot at saka labhan. Sa ganun po maiwasan namin yung virus. Pag ikaw po ay nakaranas or isa po sa miyembro ng inyong pamilya ng ng ubo at saka lagnat at mataas na temperatura ng inyong katawan, i-isolate nyo na po ang inyong sarili. Huwag po, iwasan po ang makipagsalamuha sa sa ating miyembro, uh, sa sa miyembro ng inyong pamilya para na po maiwasan at saka tumawag na agad ng doktor o pumunta po sa hospital sa hospital at para magpa-check up or magpa-test kung infected ba kayo o hindi. Magstay po tayo sa loob ng bahay. Iwasan po natin ang bumisita sa sa mga kaibigan natin o sa pamilya natin. Uh, at ganoon din po, wag po tayong mag magalaw ng mga tao na gustong bumisita sa at, sa ating pamamahay kasi hindi po natin alam kung saan po sila galing or may may tao silang nakasama alamuhan na na infected. So, iwasan po na iwasan po natin. Sa ngayon po, iwasan po natin kaya po namin more than two uh, more than one one month hindi po kami lumabas ng bahay at sa ngayon po, pwede pwede na po kami lumabas every two days. So, uh, kung maari lang po uh, sundin kung ano man po ang patakaran na meron ang ating bansa kasi sila po ang nakakaalam sila po ang may alam okay so that is what we have for you today uh, we hope that you're going to follow our uh, suggestions and you always have to know that prevention is better than cure right yes po tama po yan sana po may, may natutunan din po kayo sa amin maraming salamat po Okay, goodbye and have a good day.